hello friends welcome back to code tonight so in today's video guys we will see how to implement paypal uh, payment gateway into the asp.net core 8 framework so we will check first so we will go to the properties and here you can see that we are working on dotnet 8.0 so which is the latest framework for now so guys first of all what we have to do the first step is we have to go to the nugget packages and then we have to install the paypal package here and you can check the version here 1.9.1 .1. and then the newtonsoft.json package is also required for this so we will uh, install these two packages and after that guys we have to go to the controller and we will see what we need to do here so on the controller we will add the paypal.api namespace here and then this is the method that we have that we will be calling for the payment and then we have another method for executing the payment and for creating the uh, payment parameters like what we have to uh, set the amount or something that we are setting here so we will see by debugging step by step and uh, how that goes okay so this is uh, the index page that we have and here i have this uh, sample button so that will be clicked and uh, we will be going uh, on the payment with paypal method here okay guys at the same time uh, we will also see so you will see that the last transaction that we have here so i will just search so this is the paypal login for developers and now you will see the last transaction is uh, 141 pm so we will see after making a new payment if that goes here okay so that we will see so guys we will click on the button don't mind the design here so just we will click on the button and then we will get to the method okay now this method is uh, uh, also set as the redirect url for paypal in the paypal dashboard okay so uh, it will get back to the same method when we will uh, complete the payment so now we require key and secret uh, for making the paypal payment so we have these two sandbox credentials we have stored these credentials here in the app settings okay and we have also stored the mod equal to sandbox okay so this is also stored here so we have got these three details and then we are creating the uh, api context here okay so in the api context for accessing the token we have to pass the mod here so we have done that so now we have obtained the access token so we will provide you the code link also so don't you worry about the uh, code uh, we will provide you the exact same code that we are seeing in the video okay so here we are just creating the api context first so now since the api context is ready so now we can call payment apis uh, that we want okay so guys this is the first time that we are calling the method so we have to like we will need the amounts and everything that we want to charge okay so here we have to create a random uh, id for the order uh, for the payment okay and here we are calling the create payment method so if you go in that then you will see that we have mentioned the quantity and amount and the currency okay you can add the detail of the uh, transaction here like a product or something if you want to add that you can add here and then we are saying payment method equal to paypal and here we have to specify cancel url and the return url like after success where it will return okay uh, so this redirect url we have to mention so we have passed this over here so the you can see the uh, redirect url is the same home slash paper payment with paypal so this is the same method so it will get the same place uh, after the payment okay so now we are creating the uh, items for the payment and we have added all the items that we want and now uh, one important thing is this guys you have to pass a uh, 
uh, random ID or something for the invoice number here so I have part the uh, new GUID so that will assign a new ID every time okay and then we have added the amount here so now we are creating this payment object here and then we will pass this uh, to the create um, payment API so from here guys it will create the payment and that then we have to uh, redirect to the payment URL so here we will get the URL for the payment screen okay so this is the URL for the payment checkout okay so we have to redirect on that so we are redirecting to that URL which it created for the payment okay now we will press continue and it will move to the uh, PayPal checkout so here we can click on pay with debit or credit card so uh, we will see how we can pay with the um, dummy credit cards or debit cards okay so I have selected the United States here and then this is the uh, email and so you will need the card number here so I have already saved this card so this card uh, information I will provide you in the code link that we will provide with the video so you can get all these details that I have added uh, into that link okay so we can add the CVV so okay uh, so if you are getting confused then we can see from where you will get this okay so this is our official website so we will get here and so this is the same blog that I am just uh, showing in the video so in this uh, I have added all the code that you will need and everything that you require with the steps so here I have also added the card number and the CVV and everything that you want that you can add for testing that okay so 275 and then the billing address you can keep as so I will not create a new account but I will select this details okay so one thing you have to remember guys if you are uh, selecting any foreign country here and this is especially for Indian uh, people so if you are selecting United States here then you have to make sure that details are related to the United States else it will not work here okay so we are we can click on continue as guest here so now it will get back to the same method because we have added that as a redirect URL okay guys now so we have got here so you can keep separate methods for this that is your wish but for now I have used the same one okay so when you will get it after payment you will get the payer ID like who have paid the payment so you can put a condition on that that if you have got the payer ID then it is the it is after the redirect okay so now here we are executing the payment okay so this will execute the payment and if you will see the object here then you will also see that payment state is approved okay and also you will see other information that you need okay so you will get the transaction here and invoice number that we added that time and the amount so everything you will get here okay so we can check if the uh, payment has been approved so if it is approved then we can say that uh, this payment has been successful and we can redirect on the payment success okay so on the payment success uh, I have not implemented anything it is just, it is just saying payment success now coming back to the PayPal dashboard here so you see the last payment was 1:41 p.m. and now we will click on search again 
so you will see the another entry here 156 and if you will open this so we will see the response here and it will give us the same thing that state is approved okay so that payment is approved here okay so these are all the details that we created from the code okay so this is how you can create the payment using the paypal in dotnet core and again i will provide you a direct link of the code so don't you worry about that part so you can go on the link and then you can check out all the steps and that you need so let us know the feedback guys and uh, if you have faced any issue then you can let us know so thank you